A recent article in the New York Post decided to look at if racism is running rampant on dating apps. Studies have actually shown that certain races have a harder time matching on apps and that the race, dif the race preference filters may be to blame. In fact, many people are now calling for the removal of these types of filters on apps to give everyone a fair shot. However, critics say people should have a right to choose who they want to date and if that even that even if you remove the filters, daters would again just swipe on the ones that they like anyway. So, ladies, when it comes to race, do you think that dating apps should go filter free? Lonnie, I want to go to you because you actually love dating apps and it worked out really well for you. And you ended up with somebody that is not of your same race. Had you had what? the filter on, would you have found James? No. And that was the whole that's my whole point is that. Um, I only did apps that would allow, wouldn't allow filters, and that's like Bumble, you know, and it's another one. I forget which one, but I know Bumble for sure didn't have any, because how do you know? And the thing is, when you meet certain people, when as a black woman, we don't have a lot of options out there when it comes to the, if you want to date black men, it's just not a lot of black men on the, on the uh, dating apps. So... You know, if it's open, if, you know, for us, we need to have more, you know, options. But the thing is, is that you can filter yourself. So, like, if you meet a guy and a guy's talking about, hey, chocolate goddess, uh-uh, I ain't, no, I'm not a fetish. <laughs> you know what it hey, is, chocolate goddess? Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, when, if they saying all of that, you, t yeah. you no, uh, you not for me. The thing is, is that when I met James on the app, we never talked about color. I mean, I know it really? sounds like, like, it was never like, have you dated a white guy before? Have you dated? It wasn't, we didn't talk like that until maybe two months after we started talking. Wow. That was it. And that's how I knew because it was just about him getting to know me and me getting to know him. And so when you put these filters, a lot of people don't realize you don't know what you may like. You don't know, yeah, you know, exactly. you, you, you put blinders on already. And in love, you never know what happens. So I, yeah. I support people not having filters, open it up, but make sure that you're not a fetish because you can become a fetish, you know. If you're done, yeah, I like all that big BBW and that. No, I, I, I'm not that, so stop it. So just be careful out there. Just be careful. You know, my little Latina, you spicy. He talking all of that, that ain't for you. That's that's your filter. The Hola, way he speaks. mamacita. Yeah, it's like, no, yeah. no. I think you're no. limiting yourselves. <laughs> you're limiting yourselves, but at the same time, I also wouldn't want, I, I mean, like they said, they just swipe a, away from you if that's not what they wanted. But I do think that if you have, if you are dating with filters, you are limiting your dating pool. Exactly, Absolutely. definitely. Now, I know we all try to look fly for a first date, but because of the pandemic, people have become a little lazy with their looks. And recently, a woman wrote into the Girls Ask Guys forum to ask if it's ever acceptable to wear sweatpants on a first date. Some people thought it was crazier to reject somebody for their loungewear look, but others thought it shows that you put no effort into this and you know they're trying to impress you so ladies what are your thoughts on someone showing up in sweats to the first date especially since well, athleisure is such a thing now you guys yeah. think that's a bad thing i think the there's a fly day? way i think there's a really fly way i think it's more than just the sweats because i've seen girls put together some fly outfits with sweats guys i'm wearing sweats right now <laughs> Like, I would go Bless somewhere in a sick black turtleneck, sweats, and some fly sneakers. As long as your hair, your makeup, you look really well put together, I think there's a dope fly wear way to wear. And it depends on where you're going. If you're going somewhere really fancy and you're wearing sweats and that doesn't go with where you're going, obviously that's inappropriate. But, like, if you're going bowling on a first date or um, hopefully we're, the world will open up and we can go bowling or if you're going to a basketball game for a first date, or you're just going to a cute, trendy restaurant that's chill, I do think there is a fly way to wear sweats and not look like you put no effort in. Because there was I effort put into me looking like this today. I agree with you that you can look fly dressing sweats up, but I just think yeah. there's nothing better than somebody who put effort to put on an outfit okay. that takes more time than sweats. I, I love that. I just feel like... I, I put effort too. into I this. feel like on the first... Yeah, yeah. I don't like sweats. 
Yeah, I feel like on the first date, you got to make a little bit more of an effort. I mean, mm -hmm. you can do, unless you're going hiking on the first date. Unless you're, you know, I think I want to see a guy put himself together because he wants to impress me a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think there's something that goes a long way. I went to lunch with a guy and first date and he showed up in flip flops, not sandals. Flip Ooh. flops. And I was Ooh. like horrified. He, ooh. Did he have them no, toes out? No, you got to put some effort. Mm -mm. Ooh. No, no. Mm. You know, the only thing about sweats, you can see the, his his stuff. That's, that's the, the good part, though. I'm sorry, and some girls' booties look <laughs> bomb in sweatpants. I'll be looking. I'll be like, ooh, no, I can't I'm go out with saying. you no more. Oh, ooh, ooh yeah. yeah, okay. I'll I mean, give you a second sweats date. will come in handy when you stay over for the night or when you decide to, you know, come and chill for some, you know, lounge time after, you know, yeah. a, a, a cool, like, hot date. Yeah. But in the beginning, the first impression, show me that you spent some time. Show me that you yeah, chose agree. the outfit. I would say that, that. Absolutely, is it just something you threw on? Second or day, you can wear Absolutely, a make an effort. Let me go, wow, babe, you look great. I want to be able to do that. If you show up in sweats, I don't know. See, and I get a completely different response. That when I look like a little- Ronnie wants the gray sweats. Ooh. Pick the gray one. When and I give the sweats, round away- Ronnie? When I, I give the round away vibes and sweats thing. and fly J's, I think it, I it's a, only it can one. be a very sexy look. Too young. <sighs> too young. Yeah. I like We're going to agree to disagree, you guys. <laughs>